In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to face swap, as in put your face or someone you know over someone else's face in images. Using Midjourney instead of Discord with a free add-on that you also add to Discord as another bot. Super simple to do. The first thing you want to do is probably make your own server. I've got a video dedicated to making your own server in Discord just for Midjourney. It's in the card up above and the description down below if you want to check that out. I'm going to do it really quick here. That video that is referenced goes through into much more detail. So make sure you check it out if you want to. If you need more help or want more information or want to know the ins and outs of your own server and more tips and tricks, that's the video for you. So really quick, we click on the plus over here to add a server, create my own for me and my friends. I'm going to call this Swapping Faces. You can upload an image here if you want. If you don't, it'll just take letters from the words. Just took the S from Swapping Faces. Now I want to go to Midjourney, click on the Midjourney bot. Like I said, the other video reference goes into much more detail and more slowly to add Midjourney to your server. This just goes really quick because the point of this video is face swapping, not Midjourney. Click on the server you want to add it to, click on continue, click on authorize. If you are human, check this box. If you're not human, you're out of luck. Can't do this, sorry. So hopefully you're human. Go to face swapping, or sorry, swapping faces. Now we need to add the face swap bot. We've got the mid journey bot in here and the face swap bot is a special URL. It's in the description down below. All you have to do is click on it. If you're logged into your mid journey account right now, all you do is click on this link in the description down below and it'll just take you to a page in a browser to authorize it. We're gonna do it inside Discord and it's called Insight Face. It's the name of the app. It's adding it to this server. That's great. Click on continue and authorize. If you're human, check that box. And again, if you're not human, you're out of luck. I'm sorry, you can't do this. So now we have face swap in here as well. It's gonna delete this URL here just to keep things clean. And now we can start swapping faces. To do that, the first thing we have to do is save an ID, at least one. We can have up to 20, I believe. Go click on or type forward slash save ID. And this is the icon for Insight Face. Face Insight, what's it called again? Insight Face Swap, there we go. So that's the icon for it. Here it shows you what you need. Got to give it an ID name. I'm just going to call this Bjorn for me. I have to attach an image right here. There we go, there's my image before facial hair. Mind you, this is brand new too, so got to make new images. But side note, with facial hair, it actually works less well doing the face swap. There's some more tweaking you have to do. So it's better if you don't have facial hair in your picture, but you want to make sure it's a picture where it's you looking forward, not too many distractions, and then hit enter once you've done those two things. And now we've created me as an ID. And you can add up to 20, I think it is. So now what we have to do is create an image. So we're gonna have Indiana Jones in the jungle, face close up, and we upscale the one we want. You try to pick one that's closest to your face, but it should work no matter which image you choose. And these are all some pretty legit Harrison Fords here. I'm gonna choose this one right here, upscale that. Once it's upscaled, all you do is right click, go to apps, click on inswapper. And now because there's only one ID in the inswapper, it's just gonna put me in there. And we'll see what this turns up. There it is. There's me apparently. Is that really me? I don't know. Uh, so we put these side by side. So there's this image and then me over here and you know they're pretty close and they're not they're not perfect but anyway it could be me. It could be. Let's try a different one. Man riding a motorcycle looking back at the camera. Cyberpunk. I probably should have said looking over his shoulder back at the camera because these are all looking straight into the camera and none of these really look like me. Very square cut jaws and male model type looks here. But it'd be fun to see what it does with this guy with his glasses on. Let's see if that works. Goggles, I should say, not glasses. There we go. Right click, apps, in swapper, and maybe a little chubbier face, chubbier cheeks. This guy's very square. <laughs> this guy's a little rounder. So I guess they could be me, but definitely that the hair is off. But this is, doesn't swap the hair, right? This is a face swapper, not a hair swapper. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, not that one. Upscale four. Let's see if we can face swap on number four. I'm sure we can, but let's see how it does on number four. Keep in mind, this has something going on here. Is that some kind of blood or a worm growing on his face or some kind of 3D tattoo? I don't know, but he's got something there. Let's see if that's gonna be there when we swap the face. The square jaw definitely won't be there. I'll tell you that much. There we go, much softer features, but it did try to keep, it's not exact, but it tried to keep whatever is growing on this guy's face. It looks more like me, I suppose. I, I mean, I don't recognize myself in this picture. Maybe it's the hair, but it's, it's closer. 
and that's how you face swap. Here's a bunch of examples of different styles and things that I swap my face into. It is super neat, this technology, but I also feel like certain faces are better at being swapped. I feel like mine doesn't always come through. Like my, when I swap my face into here, it doesn't always look like my face. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So here's a bunch of different face swaps I did. These first ones are swapping my face with people looking in different directions in the image. It seems to handle those pretty well. These ones showcase different emotions. It seems to handle those pretty well as well, except for the more extreme ones, like the one at the last one where the person's terrified. It looks more like I'm at the dentist saying ah in my image, but um, it's still pretty good. And I have my, my original image as a reference on the side as well, so you can see what the original image is and what these images look like. And now we have images of different styles and different types of artists and renderings for these images. And it fits me into these pretty well, but does have a little more trouble when it gets into the more artistic side. So you have to have some Photoshop chops to be able to edit them and get them back to what you're replacing. Because especially this last one here, I look totally different than the, the actual original image. The, the artifacts are all gone in the face and you have to do a little Photoshopping or whatever photo editor you want to use to get those back in there. Now we're gonna add some more IDs to the Insight Face Swap app so we can replace some celebrity images and see if we can improve the celebrity image output that Midjourney gives us. Type in save ID, give it a name, call this one Arnold, and there's an image of Arnold. Enter, now that's saved. Now that's the most recent ID, so if I double click, or sorry, right click on here, go to apps, Insight Swapper, InSwapper, it's going to use Arnold, because that's our most recently created one. Let's add another one. Let's add Sylvester. I'm sure you know which Sylvester I mean. Now we can see our IDs if we type a forward slash and we click on Inside Face Swap here. It shows us all the commands that we have available. So we can go to List ID to, del to list all the IDs that we've created. We have 20 as a max. So here's our list IDs. There's Bjorn, Arnold, and Sylvester, and the current ID name is Sylvester. That's the one when we right click, it's going to show, or it's gonna use that face for the swap. And that's because it's the most recent one we added. To switch that, say we wanna switch this to Arnold, forward slash again, set ID, ID name of Arnold. Now if we go list ID again, it shows our current one is Arnold. So that's how we switch them. We go set ID, we type in the name of the ID, that's, these are the names here, and it'll switch to that one. So when we right click and we choose in swap from the apps, then it's gonna choose Arnold. So let's try this. Let's go imagine prompt Arnold Schwarzenegger photorealistic 8K. Let's see what it gives us. That gives us some classic Arnold, although he's never had a goatee like this. And surprisingly, none of these have a cigar. So maybe it's not classic Arnold. This one looks a little more like Hugh Jackman. Arnold plus Hugh Jackman. Let's see if we can make this look more like Arnold. Let's upscale that one. And we have Arnold currently set as our ID for the InSwapper. So let's right click, go to apps, go to InSwap. See if we can improve this image to make it look more like Arnold. And I think it does actually. Look at this one, Hugh Jackman. Definitely Hugh Jackman vibes, but a lot more character in the, the skin wrinkles and everything. This one has a lot less character, much smoother, but I think it looks more like Arnold. Yeah, I think that works to improve celebrity images. Just for fun, let's see what Arnold would have looked like in different movies, movies that he didn't feature in but were super popular, and we'll see if the in-swapping can make it look like he's actually a character, maybe in one of those movies. So in this set of images, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see what Midjourney made. On the right-hand side, you're gonna see what the result of swapping Arnold's face in did to see if it makes it look closer to what Arnold actually looks like. So this first movie is Lord of the Rings. This next one is Pulp Fiction. And this is Alice in Wonderland. And this is Arnold Schwarzenegger in Guardians of the Galaxy. And I think there's a bit of improvement when you swap in Arnold's face over top of what Midjourney already thought Arnold looks like. Swapping the face in makes it look even more realistic. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. Everything we've seen so far is in the free plan for Inside Face Swap. And you can see here we have 22, 55 credits used. We get 50 credits every single day. And this is a per day limit. You get 50 
face swap credits per day, which seems like quite a lot. One of the great features, if you have the pay plan, which starts at $10 a month, is you can face swap multiple people in the same image. So you could have, say, an image of Starsky and Hutch right here and replace one of them with Arnold and the other one with Schwarzenegger. And I don't have the paid plan, so I'm gonna use the workaround using the free plan. And that is, you have to chop up the image beforehand, then replace the people in the image and put the image back together afterwards. So if you type in swap ID, and we're gonna use Arnold as the ID name that we're gonna use. Here you type in the actual ID you wanna use for the swap instead of it just using the most recent one like it's been doing before. And I wanna add a Starsky and Hutch image. And I wanna replace one of the Starsky and Hutch, I don't know which is which. One's gonna be Arnold, other one's gonna be Schwarzenegger. But with the free version, you can only face swap one face at a time. With the paid version, I could do both of these at the same time, but I'm using the free version. So let's upload an image. And again, I don't know if this is Starsky or Hutch, but it's half the image. And hit enter. And now that's gonna be swapped with Arnold. And I wanna swap ID the other side with Sylvester and go. And now we put these back together in a photo editing program. So that's the process with the free version. And I'm gonna show you these side by side. The original Starsky and Hutch image and the image with the swap with Arnold and Sylvester, and I think it'll be pretty hilarious. So here are the results. And after you've done this for a while, you're probably gonna have a lot of list IDs. If we go forward slash insight swapper, we can delete specific IDs. So if we do use this and we type in Arnold, it now deletes Arnold from our list of IDs. So if I go list ID, we see that Arnold is no longer there. And, oh wait, it is there, but it's no longer here. So it's not in the ID list, but for some reason it's still in the current list, might be a bug. You can also delete all the IDs. So if I go forward slash, delete all right here, deletes all the IDs. Now if I go list ID, there is nothing there, it's all gone. And that's really everything, everything you can do with Inside Face Swap. And Inside Face Swap is a pretty fun tool to work with. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about upping your mid-journey skills. So if you're interested in mid-journey and you love it, check out that playlist. The playlist down below is all about chat GTP and upping your skills in that. Check that out too. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.